Hey everyone, I was trying to do some videos earlier, but our internet's been so bad due to these storms. Once again, I woke up this morning with no power, so we're still having some issues. Trees, I guess trees are still falling, so a lot of stuff going on. So if you don't, that's probably the last video I do today. It's just a struggle to get videos on right now. Till they get all these issues fixed, and now we know we got another round of storms coming soon. So it just ain't going to end, evidently. Uh, want to get on here i know we've been talking about things escalating a lot of things happening i just want to always make sure everybody knows that time is just not on our side to get people woke up it just ain't things are escalating so fast right now i saw an interesting story somebody told me the other night they're like you know i really don't see the things that you see in uganda they was uh, getting ready to pass a bill to basically do away with pedophiles. You know what I mean? Death sentence. In the United States, Joe Biden threatens them if they go through with this to eliminate pedophiles, to protect their kids, that we will sanction them. Now, if you don't think that we're at the end of the world... You love this world and you don't want it to end. Now, that's the bottom line where we're at today. It's us that want to go with Jesus and those who want the world. As simple as that. These people will not let go of this, this earth. Even if when Jesus does open that sky and he comes down, they're not going to want to go. When we started the channel, like I said, his sheep will hear his voice. These other people, they don't want to go. You can't force them to go. You have free will. Nothing you can do about that. But we're, uh, we've got a world that is running on evil. And it's not just the United States. It's everybody. It's every government. Man, this world is just flat out evil. There is no other way of looking at it. The church is corrupt. Everything's corrupt. And if you don't see that this is the end, there is nothing, nobody's ever going to make you see it. Not even Jesus himself. So, I've come to the conclusion. I mean, I've tried to tell people they'll fight you up and down. I'm not going to do that anymore. You know, either you hear it or you don't. All I can do is the Lord told me to let you know that he's coming, that the world's falling apart, that it's about to be judged. That's all I can do. I'm not going to fight with these people. Like I said, I'm not on here for my reputation. I don't care about my reputation. I work for God. I don't work for man. Man is ignorant and evil. I don't care what people think. I'm not on here to get paid. I'm on here to try to get you to not perish in a lake of fire. Bottom line. I, won't, I don't wish that on anybody. Not even my worst enemies. But you can't talk to these people, and I've realized that. The Christians just want to argue. God will come back and be gone. They'll still be arguing with themselves in comments. I've already realized that. Because their lack of knowledge of the Bible. And I mean, it's, it's so incredible that I can't even comprehend it, actually, that they just don't know nothing. It's just, it's horrible that we've got to this point. I, didn't, I knew we was in the apostasy of a church, but oh, wow, it's that bad. And that explains why we're, the world is in this position as in, honestly. If people truly knew the Bible and knew God like they did at one time, this wouldn't be going on. That's why the pedophiles and everything is running rapid, because the church is pretty much gone. That's why this evil is running the world. That's why. People quit studying. They quit wanting to know God and other things. They didn't want to know these things. They only want what's in front of them. They want to go to their basketball games. They want to do this. They want to do that. They don't have time for God. And when Jesus comes very soon, they're going to be sitting here begging him to come back. Please come back and get me. And it's going to be too late. 
You're going to be stuck here for seven years, and you're going to know how bad that is. A lot of people will wake up as soon as we're out of here. They're going to realize they're going to be stuck here for seven years. They're going to know it. It's going to be instant for them. And not them are the ones that, I mean, they're going to be like, oh, crap, I messed up. Don't be one of those. Get on the ark now. Pray for those that will be in the tribulation because it's coming soon that God will protect them. And I, I wanted to bring up another point I was thinking. Now, as soon as we're gone, which is going to be very soon, there won't be no churches. They're going to probably, people's going to get mad that they got left here, and they're probably going to eliminate these churches. They'll probably burn them to the ground, I'm sure. That and Bibles, there'll probably be a war on it because people's going to be angry, and they're going to be mad because God left them. And it's going to be horrible, horrible for a while. It won't take long before this sets in. They're almost at that point now. And now that the church is gone, this evil is going to run amok with what's Christians are left here. And there's going to be plenty of them left, along with other people that's riding the fence right now. And they'll have their job to do to get everybody to not take the mark. But, you know... We might want to leave in there to hide hide the Bibles because I'm I'm really thinking that's going to be a scarcity. You're not going to be able to hardly find them. People will really try to go after them like they will your guns and stuff like that because people's going to be mad and they're going to be angry because people tried to warn them and they wouldn't listen. And a lot of these people are going to be mad at these other people because they knew the truth and didn't tell people. And, but you can't blame other people because you're too lazy to open the Bible and figure it out yourself. You can't blame anybody. A lot of people is going to be in heaven being judged by God, and they're going to say, well, that guy, I'm, he's going to, no, you are supposed to know it yourself. I, you, everyone on this earth, I don't care what they think, they will be in front of Jesus. They will be judged. You better Take responsibility for yourself because you can't get up there and say, well, no, that guy told me. No, it will not work. There's only two ways, people. There's heaven and hell. That's it. You have to make a decision now. You're out of time. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's up. Grace period's coming to an end. The world is about to destroy itself. If you can't see that, there is nothing we can do for you. And if you can't see it, it's because you're in love with this world and you cannot let it go. I'm telling you, all the signs are there, the prophecies, everything's here. It's all here. When you stay the prophecies, you know everything that's happening. You know what's going on. And for the next one that tells me that sentence in Matthew, when, when the Lord Jesus was talking to them about... No man should know the day and the time. I mean, they're like parrots when it comes to this verse. Read underneath it. Do not just read it. They do that because that's the only scripture in the Bible they know. That's it. That's Lucifer repeating that over and over and over. Because I know it's not God. Because if you go underneath it, it tells you in more detail of what he's talking to. He's talking to the Jews about the tribulation. See, they don't tell you that. That's why I tell you, if somebody quotes you one scripture, run from these people, because that's the only scripture they know, and they didn't read it. They're hearing it from somebody else. Jesus, before the resurrection, him going into heaven, he wasn't with the Father. This was before that. When he got up to heaven, do you think that after all these years up there, that Jesus and the Father didn't have a conversation about when the rapture is supposed to happen. Yeah, as soon as Jesus got up there, he told him, and guess who he revealed it to? Paul. Yes. See, Jesus knew more once he got to heaven. That's why he started revealing things to Paul. If you would read the rest of the Bible, and I think only Christians know Matthew. That's the only scripture they know in the whole Bible. That's where the post-trib, the mid-trib, and everybody gets stuff. That's the only, I think everybody starts in the New Testament, and then they quit after Matthew. 
because that's the only one they all go to. It's just unbelievable. Read the whole New Testament. And it will tell you that if you're watching for the rapture, you will know it's coming. He won't come as a thief in the night. So, God does want you to know. He gives you signs. You will figure it out before it happens. We're seeing the signs. We're seeing everything happening. These people don't want to see it. The church don't want to believe it. But you, his sheep, you know who I'm talking to right now. You truly know where we are and how long we have. You know just like I do. Quit listening to these people. They do not know what they're talking about. They won't learn it. They want everybody to teach it to them, but they don't want to learn it themselves. And they are just screwing up the world. They're just making it worse. That's where we are today. That's why this evil is running rapid on this earth. Because the great falling away is way, way past its time. The church is just fading to, I mean, it's just fading to nothing. Christians don't know the word of God. They don't know their left from the right. And evil has just taken hold over the school system, over everything. Evil is chasing our children. Millions of babies being murdered every year. And everybody says, well, man, I don't see anything out there wrong happening. Where are you getting this stuff at? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. There's just no words. I talked to the Lord about it for hours today. I said, Lord, I do not. I said, your church is so oblivious. I said, right now, if you was walking right in front of them, they'd go, well, who's that? They wouldn't even know. It's just unbelievable how far we have fallen. It's scary. But the good news is we're getting out of here to a place that people, I cannot even stress to you how wonderful it's going to be. Do not fear all these events. You know, I could tell you what's going to come later this year and everything, but you don't need to know it because we're not going to be here. So when you start seeing everybody, these prophets on here, that gets a message every time they look at a Wheaties box, that's not God. This three days of darkness, you don't have to worry about. You shouldn't be fearful of three days in the darkness anyway. You got a flashlight. I mean, people, come on. These people are on here to get your clicks, to get money. That's why they're here. This is why they make an, a living. I mean, you, you're going to have to wake up. Read your Bible and know it yourself and quit listening to these crazy people. God does not sell fear. He does not sell it. He says, do not fear. All these things coming, these banks crashing, everything falling apart. We all see it. It's coming. But am I scared of it? Heck no. Let it come because I'm leaving. But see, these other people are like, well, you know, the Lord Jesus is telling you right now, get your money out of the bank and build you a bunker and everything. That's not Jesus. Jesus don't sell fear. Three days of darkness come. Please, you need to put some paint over your windows. That is the dumbest stuff I've ever heard in my life. If you believe that, I will sell you some oceanfront property right here in West Virginia. Cheap price. People, we cannot be this crazy. Jesus is not fear. The church is leaving. The grace period is over. You better wake up and see it before it's too late and quit listening to these quacks. Yeah, things will get really bad. We've all read Revelation. It's going to get really bad very soon. But we don't have to fear it because we ain't going to be here. That's why I'm telling you, get on the boat now and you won't have to deal with it. But when people tell you to read one little piece of scripture, it, that will not go with anything. You've got to read that whole chapter. Know in context who they're talking to, what Jesus was saying. 
See, they don't do that. That's why I always say, if they give you that one verse, you better run because they don't know the Bible. Because they don't want you to know the rest of it. And that's why they do that on purpose. God wants you to know that things are coming to an end. Don't ever, th anybody tells you that, they're lying to you. He has told the disciples over the year everything. He has made sure that there was somebody to warn you that these things was coming. And what have they always done? They've attacked them, just like they are today. The same thing. Man has never changed in its 6,000 years upon this earth. God warns them, and they attack the people that God sends to warn them. Well, I'm not going to be one of those, because I'm going to warn you. If you take it, you take it. You don't, you don't. But I'm going home. If you want to go with me to a place where we don't have to deal with this stuff anymore, no more viruses trying to be put out, trying to destroy the populations and everything else, murdering innocent children, Find Jesus right now, and you don't have to worry about that much longer because we're going home. There's free spots on the ark. Just get on board, people, because let me tell you something. Let these people, if they love this world this bad, let them have it. Because we're going home. And you that want to go home to with Jesus, just have yourself ready. And we're getting out of here. How about that? That sounds really good. I think that's going to be my new messages from this point on. Be ready, because we're going home. And I can't wait to be with each and every one of you that hear this message and understand it and know your Bible. And you just want to be with Jesus, because that's the ones that are going to heaven, is the ones who want to be with Yeshua, our Lord and Savior. But if you want this world, you can have it. We're going home with Jesus. So have yourselves ready. I love you. I don't mean to be tough on you. But you've got to be tough these days because people don't want to hear the truth. And you know that as well as I do. And I love them too. I wouldn't be doing this. I surely ain't doing it for my health because I get attacked every day. Over and over and over. When I just don't want these people to die in a leg of fire. And that's the true story. I'm not doing this for money. Not doing it for my health by any means. I'm doing it because... I don't care who you are, what country you're from. You are my brothers and sisters, and I don't want you to die that way forever. Or I wouldn't be doing this. I love each and every one of you. If you don't see or hear from me again, I will see, we, see us all in heaven. <laughs>